Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Eye YouTube channel and I am back with challenge number 9 in my No Spend November challenge and giveaway series. I hope you'll stick around, see what today's challenge is, and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel and you're going to want to get in on the giveaway, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I have been enjoying challenging myself to create with what I have so far this month. And I have to say it has been a little hard not to click that buy button on all my online shopping carts. But so far, besides the kits that I'm already committed to each month, I have not spent any extra on crafty supplies. Keep your fingers crossed for me that I make it till the end of the month. If you haven't heard about my No Spend November series yet, here's a little bit about it. During the month of November, I will be putting out challenges for myself and for my subscribers. You can play along on YouTube, on Instagram, or on the brand new Call Me Crafty Owl Facebook page. At the end of the month, I will tally up those entries and one lucky subscriber will win the now sold out Gina K Designs Sparkle and Shine card kit. Don't forget for all of the official rules and details to check out the video linked in the description box below. Also in the description box are the hashtags that you'll need to use for today's challenge on YouTube and on Instagram. Don't forget on Instagram to go ahead and tag me at callmecraftyowl. And if you're going to participate on Facebook, make sure in the description of your photo that you add your YouTube username. I hope that you're going to be inspired to join me and get some entries to win that fabulous prize. Challenge number nine is what's the skinny? To be entered into this challenge, you need to create a new slimline card. This is probably the only challenge in the series where you're gonna have to create a card. The other ones are kind of open to interpretation and if you're a different kind of crafter, you can play along with the craft of your choice. Now, if you can somehow fit it into what you do, the what's the skinny part, go ahead and submit that. For my card today, I will be making a slimline card and I thought I would go with a thankful theme. So I got out this thankful die, which I believe is a paper tray ink die. I don't know that they sell it anymore. And I will also be busting out some slimline dies that I bought a while ago. These make borders. They are about nine inches long, so it's longer than what I need for my slimline card, but I thought it would be fun to use these. I got out a piece of heavyweight white cardstock for my card base, and then I got out a couple pieces of paper from Illustrated Faith. These are from the Gratitude Documented line, and I liked the acorns on this and just the fun colors, kind of a different color combo for fall. If I add any products as I go along, I will make sure to let you know, but if I leave you with any questions, leave those in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty. Just like with most of my cards, I'm going to start today by doing the cutting. The first thing I'm going to cut is a piece of heavyweight white cardstock to be my slimline card base. I cut this to seven inches wide and leave the eight and a half and then I fold it in half. So the final size of my slimline card is eight and a half inches wide by three and a half inches tall. Now I'm gonna cut the pattern papers. The first one is the striped paper and I want this to fill that card front completely. So that got cut to eight and a half inches wide by that same three and a half inches tall. Now this next piece, I'm gonna be using the front and back. So I cut two strips that were three inches tall by eight and a half inches wide. I selected one of the border dies from the set that I wanted to use and I snipped it away from the rest. I will be putting this same cut in the bottom of both of the smaller pieces of pattern paper 
and to hold the dies in place while I run it through the die cutter, I got out a couple pieces of Scotch Blue removable tape. Now this tape I will be able to reuse later, and once I'm done with this card, I just set it right to the side on my desk here, so if I need a piece of blue tape later, it's nice and handy. Now these dies are too long for my cuddle bug. You'll see some of that hangs off the bottom. But all I do is run it through once, turn it around, move it down a little bit, and then resend it through so that I can cut the whole length of that piece. I like that border and that stitching on it. I do want to make sure that on the acorn piece, the shape is at the same spot on the paper, so I held up the blue piece of paper against it, and I just wiggled the die until it was bumped up against the blue piece. This allowed me to make sure that it was centered left to right, just like it was on the previous piece. Once I had that tape down in place, that got run through the cuddle bug as well. Next, I brought in my thankful word die, and I played around with the placement of this a little bit to decide where I liked it best, and I did decide on the lower kind of right, and once I had that where I wanted it, I held that in place with those two pieces of the same scotch blue removable tape while I ran it through the cuddle bug. Now, I did make sure that when I removed the die from the paper that I did not lose any of those small teeny tiny pieces on the insides of the letters because I will need those later. To add a little stability to the negative part of the die cut, I decided to get out a scrap of clear cardstock and I trimmed that so it was slightly larger than the die cut itself and then adhered this to the back of the acorn piece. This way those small pieces will have something to lay against instead of falling into the card when I pop it up off there. To make sure I get the placement correct for all those teeny tiny pieces, I popped my die cut back into the negative and then I brought in my art glitter glue with the fine tip point. You'll see there my glue bottle charm. If you're interested in knowing more about that, I will link the crafty YouTuber below who I bought mine from. To get the small pieces back in place, I tried a couple different techniques. The first, I brought the glue to the little paper piece first and then popped that into where it went on the die cut. Now you'll see I went ahead and raised the T and H a little bit just to make sure that I hadn't glued that down when I put in that inner part. The second piece I did the same way by adding the glue to the paper and popping it into the opening, but after this I decided that I was going to try a little different. Next I put the glue on the opening on the clear cardstock, then I brought in my jewel picker and placed the piece of paper where it went in the die. I do think that this worked a little bit better and the jewel picker allowed me to hold my little scrap in place while I lifted up the die cut. For the final one, the little end of my jewel picker wouldn't pick it up, so I turned it around to the larger size and got that placed in there. Now after this, I decided that some of those little flaps should be glued down, so I spent a minute or two adding glue to the back of that. Once that had dried for about five minutes, I started to put my card together. The first thing I did was put the striped paper onto the card front, and then I added adhesive to the blue pattern paper piece. I placed this about a quarter of an inch down from the top so that part of it would stick out from the acorn paper. To be able to see the thankful word more clearly, I decided that I needed some dimension between these two pieces. So I pulled in my 3 8 inch big blue roll of foam tape and added some of that back to my die cut piece. Once I pulled the release paper, this got placed on the card front, and here are some close up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this quick and easy slimline card today for the ninth challenge in my series, What's the Skinny? I can't wait to start seeing your slimline cards showing up in the comment section below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. 
thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.